Hey, what's up everybody? This is Grayson of blacktoptolaptop.com and today I want to show you how you can set up your own email marketing campaign. This is basically the same thing as an email newsletter, but I don't like using the term newsletter because it makes me think that we're only going to be talking about ourselves and it sounds kind of salesy. I prefer to call it an email marketing campaign because our goal is to provide our list or our subscribers highly relevant, interesting, and genuinely helpful information on a consistent basis. But before we get into showing you how to set it up, let's talk about why you'd want to do email marketing in the first place. The most compelling reason is because you want to stay top of mind with your customers. Customers rarely purchase from you on the first interaction or touch if we're speaking in marketing language. I've seen statistics say that it takes as many as 21 touches with a customer before they're willing to buy from you. Email marketing helps you make those meaningful contacts or touches in a really cost-effective way. And speaking of cost-effective, email marketing is probably the least expensive form of marketing available. Aweber, for example, the software I'm going to be using today, is only 19 bucks a month for a subscriber list of 500 people. If you wanted to send a postcard or direct mail to 500 people, it would cost you six, 160 bucks in postage uh, alone. That's not even including the price of having the postcard printed, uh, hiring a designer to design the postcard. Additionally, once you set it up, which I'm going to show you how to do in a minute, it takes no time at all to write an email and send it out to your customers or potential customers. And if you want to be a super ninja email marketer, you can set up an autoresponder series which means you write a bunch of emails all at once and schedule them to be sent out over time, totally hands-off, like marketing while you sleep. Okay, so at this point you're probably thinking, great, email marketing sounds like a good idea, but why do I need a service like AWeber at all? Why don't I just email my customers from my own email address? Great question. Uh, but before I answer that, uh, let me sidestep for a second and say that I'm going to be talking about AWeber today. Because of the service that I use, uh, I've tried out a number of other services like Eye Contact and Constant Contact, but AWeber has been the easiest to use and to get started with, and I think it has some way cooler features. Um, one of the coolest benefits of using a service like AWeber is seeing who opened your email and who clicked on any of the links you may have included. You can also do split testing to see which headlines uh, work better. Uh, which emails convert and you can do advanced tracking when you're ready to do something like that. Um, but the most important reason to use an email marketing service like AWeber instead of your own email address is that it's a best practice for online marketing. It's a best practice because it does two things for you automatically. One is that it allows for double opt-ins it sounds complicated at first, but my guess is that you do this all the time, but are not sure why. Uh, double opt-in is when you sign up for something online and you get an email right away that says something like, Hey Joe, thanks for giving us your email address. Click the link below to confirm that we can send you stuff. That's a double opt-in. You gave your email once to them and then they had to confirm it one more time to make sure it wasn't some spammer that uh, was trying to get your email. Um, it's a great way of protecting your email privacy. The second thing it automatically does is subscription management. Subscription management is uh, that link at the bottom of the email that lets them unsubscribe from future emails if they want. Uh, so at this point you may think, well, but Grayson, I don't want my uh, customers to be able to unsubscribe from my newsletter. Yes, you do, and here's why. Let's say you're sending your email newsletter out from your own email address and over time some of those recipients switch jobs, change positions, or just aren't interested in your service anymore. Without an unsubscribe option, they're going to mark those emails as spam or junk, whatever service you're using. That may not seem like a big deal, but your internet service provider, the people that make your emails get where they're supposed to go, if they see your emails getting marked as spam by multiple people, they're going to flag your account and everything you send is going to start being marked as spam. I mean, all, those, all know there's nothing more annoying than getting spammed by some company never being able to get off their email list. You don't want to be one of those people. 
Okay, so we've covered the benefits of email marketing and why we need to use an email marketing service to do it. So let's get into showing you actually how to set up your first campaign. Okay, so if you're watching this on the blog, there is a link below this video or an icon over in the sidebar that will take you directly to AWeber. Now this is an affiliate link, so if you purchase through my link, I will earn a small commission. So thank you in advance for supporting me and the blog to bring you tutorials just like this one. Here we are on the AWeber site, and let's just get started. I'm going to select the $1 for the first month trial plan, fill out my information, and log in. And let's get started. You can try the new editor, but let's just go directly to my account. Great, here we are on the home screen, and the first thing we need to do is create a list. And create a new list. One thing you'll notice when you get started with something new in AWeber is there'll be a little pop-up wizard at the bottom of the page where you can watch videos to help you with, ever, with whatever step that you're on currently. So it's just a short video to show you. So I'm just going to close that for now. You can watch those if you need a little extra help along the way. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is give our list a name, and we're kind of limited on characters. It can be up to 15 characters long and contain only letters and numbers and hyphens, so it may need to be a little cryptic, but I'm going to try parking lot customer one. List name's available. I'm going to give my list a name, or excuse me, a description. And my from name, I'm going to want to make this my own personal name, not the name of my business, because it makes it more personal to the customers that are going to be receiving these emails. And save settings. The next step it's going to take you to is your company branding. So this is where you can enter your company name, your website URL, and a signature. You can add a tagline if you'd like. Okay. You can integrate your email marketing with social media. Uh, you can connect it to your Twitter account and your Facebook account so that anytime you send an email it gets published on those platforms as well. For right now we're going to ignore that step and save settings. Okay, the third and final step of creating your list is modifying your confirmation message. Now when you add somebody to your email list, they're going to get this confirmation message which is to confirm that they in fact want to be on this list. So we can edit this subject and there's a drop down here with a couple different options. Uh, if we pick this middle one with the personalization feature at the front, it will take the person's name and insert it before confirm your subscription. So if it's 
Joe Smith, it's going to say, Joe, confirm your subscription. Just makes it a little more personal. We can edit the intro, and we kind of want to make this a little more personal. Uh, it's kind of general right now. Um, so I'm just going to edit the beginning of this. I'm going to put high, and then use this insert field. And I can grab a personalization from here. So again, I can use uh, the first name of the person on my list and insert it here to make it more personal. Hi, first name. Order to serve you better. We're using a new email marketing service to provide you with info by your account. Before we begin sending you the information you requested, we want to be certain we have your permission. Okay, we can edit the signature. Let's put thanks. Okay, we're going to require the opt-in, we're going to leave it on, and save our settings. After we've finished our confirmation message, we want to write a welcome email or a follow-up email that tells our customers what they have to look forward to when we're emailing them. So we're going to go to Messages and follow-up. We're going to create a new follow-up message. So create a subject line. I'm going to personalize it by using a first name and thank you for subscribing. For the sake of time, I've already written a message, and it can be something along the lines of, Hi, Joe. Thanks for joining us. Because we love our customers, or because we love that you're our customer, we want to make sure you're getting all of our VIP deals and information directly to your inbox. And I just made this up, so make it personal to whatever sort of information you provide your customers, uh, special deals, pricing. Uh, it's really up to you. Some of the deals and information you have to look forward to, uh, the spring cleanup special, uh, the PDF, 10 questions every property manager should ask their sweeper, uh, the inv invitation to our St. Patrick's Day VIP potluck, et cetera, et cetera. And then throughout the year, you can send these to them and they'll be expecting them. And I always like to add a little quick bonus at the end, something they can do right now or a quick value so it's not always so far off in the future. For example, if I was emailing somebody, I could add this, this uh, tutorial that I created um, on how to save 10 minutes a day with LastPass. So I can just add the link. Insert the link and create a quick closing and save message. Okay, so here's our message. Uh, it'll give us a spam score. Anything less than five is great. It's just, it runs a quick algorithm on the message to make sure that you're not actually a spammer. Um, it's a good idea to send yourself a test message to see how the message is showing up uh, in your email. Sometimes there can be weird formatting if you don't check it, so you don't want to send off a bunch of emails to your customers only to find out that a link doesn't work or that the formatting's all wrong. So speaking of customers, let's actually add our customers to the list. There's a couple options here to add subscribers. Uh, the fastest way is to import and that allows you to take all the names and email addresses from a spreadsheet and import them all at once. 
So I'm going to click Import. We've already created our confirmation message, so we don't need to worry about that. And we can enter our subscribers here. So the fastest way to do that is I'm going to head over to a spreadsheet I have with a couple sample names listed. And I'm just going to highlight the information that I want, name and email address, control copy, copy, and paste. And it's going to put all these in there. It's going to look odd at first, but just leave it, leave it the way it is. It'll take care of itself. The last thing we have to do is tell them how we joined our list. So I'm just going to say that these are current customers. This is so you didn't scrape email addresses. This isn't, you know, you purchased a list. Um, this just makes sure that we're doing everything above board. I click next. We have to match our data to the field type. And really all that means is that this first line is the name, Joe Smith. So I'm just going to pick from these drop down options and I'm going to pick name. And the next one, Joe Smith at snailmail.com is the email. So that's right. So I click save. And we're done. After we added all those people, they were sent the confirmation message to confirm that they wanted to be on the list. And as soon as they confirmed, they received our follow-up message, which told them the deals and the information that we were going to be sending them from here on out. And there you have it. You've just added your first list of customers to your email marketing campaign. And anytime you want to get back in touch with them, you can just go up to Messages and Broadcast, create a broadcast message. And similar to your welcome email, you just write a subject and an email and send it off to them. And everybody that subscribes to your list will get that email. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I'll be sure to answer it. And thanks for watching.